can't read this one. <laughs> Why? There's too many words I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Anyways, my name is Story. Welcome to Storybook. Hey guys, it's Story. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I had that on cue, bro. Today we're doing book unhaul, but it's kind of weird because we're doing blindfolded book unhaul. Are you good? Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> this is my sister, if you don't already know. Um, she's been in a video before. I'll link it down below. In a couple of videos. Been already. in a couple of videos. I was in redoing my book. <laughs> bookshelf. <laughs> my, my bookshelf. Um, I was in a couple of vlogs. I'm like funny, so she's not. So my videos are very popular, if you guys can't tell. Um, I'll link them down below if you me. care. They probably you don't. You guys probably know me, but you guys know me as a blondie. Now we look like actual sisters. Anyways, I'm going to blindfold myself and pretty much what's gonna go down is Liv is going to read the synopsis to me of each book or like the summary of, a, of the synopsis, right? Maybe. We'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> and I have to decide if I'm gonna keep the book or unhaul it, but the trick is I can't see the book. Like I can't see the book cover. And what do I do? What do I do, Liv? Oh, you said she it earlier. definitely buys books by the cover. She does not buy them to read them. No, I buy she them. She has so many books that she just doesn't even fucking care about and doesn't even read. Sorry, can I cuss? Just bleep it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Put your jewel away. Put the freaking jewel Why? On. I buy books that I want to read, but what happens is they sit on my shelf because I buy too many, and I do buy books based on the book cover. So this way, I'm getting rid of a bunch of books without like basing them on the book cover. I'll actually read them and like them based on the synopsis. What are you gonna do with them? Are you gonna sell them back to Books a Million? million? Um, I'm gonna sell them back to Books a Million, or if anyone wants to like buy them, I guess they can. If not, I'll just like donate them. To like goodwill or something donate them to mom <laughs> yo i don't read so uh all right so i'm gonna Fun make fact. this a challenge and i'm gonna tag people down below to do it because why not it sounds fun <laughs> probably not <laughs> no one's gonna do it i'm not famous enough i know did it's you fine. make this a challenge or i still was already a challenge no i came up with it but i am gonna tag people that i know like do book too <laughs> Can you not? You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> Am I in the shot? Yes, you're in the fucking shot. Have you moved? Start them off, Liv. Don't, don't. That scared me. 18-year-old is on the eve of her debut presentation at the Royal <laughs> She's a debut. Royal Court. <laughs> it is debut. What else would it debut. be? Debut. Oh my god. Is on the eve of her debut. <laughs> when I decided to do this video, I kind of factored in that you could read. So can you actually read, please? <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> Don't make me call mom. Presentation at the Royal Court. Life should revolve around gowns, dancing, and securing a suitable marriage. Instead, when one of her family maids disappears, she is drawn into the shadows of Regency London. Uh, I need more, because that doesn't feel like a synopsis. Okay, okay, okay. Meets a lord, and the two of them investigate a terrifying conspiracy that threatens to plunge Ooh. the newly enlightened world I love back into darkness. Okay, this I think this is a fantasy. I don't fucking you know. You said conspiracy. There's romance. There's mystery. Yeah, I'm keeping it. So put that in the keep pile. A girl is about to step into the bright future she's worked so hard and so long for. A new dream job, a fiance she endure, uh, endures, <laughs> adores. <laughs> then suddenly, on what should have been the happiest days of her life, everything she worked for is taken away. She's in the hospital and is faced to forced to face the possibility that nothing will ever be the same again. Okay, honestly, that sounds really boring. I'm trying to think of what these books even are, and I don't even know, and that's the bad thing. Okay, yeah, put it in the unhaul pile, because that... Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, I want this one, so I'm gonna put that in my pile. No, you don't get a pile. I will decide once I see what the books are. This is the next book. When a girl meets another girl on a winter afternoon, fate implodes, and neither of their lives will be ever be the same. Although they are next-door neighbors in New Haven, they came from a different world. Elise grew up in public housing after a father, without a father, and she didn't graduate from high school. Jamie is a junior at Yale. We hold in to high family expectations. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the attraction is instant, and what starts out as sexual obsession turns into something greater, stranger, 
Well, and impossible to ignore. You're not very good at selling the synopsis, honestly. You don't. You're not selling the couple it up very moves well. to Manhattan in search of a new life, and White Fur follows them as they wander through the Newport mansions. It just sounds boring. Okay, put it in the unhaul pile for now. I feel like I'm gonna regret that, but it just sounds so boring. Are these like romance books? I feel like these are romance books, so I'm I don't not know. super I'm just into romance. Out of the pile you gave me. Yeah, they sound like romance, and I'm not super into that. So. This is the next book. 17 year old girl has spent most of her life within the smoldering borders of something festival. Yeah, even among the many unusual members of the traveling circus city, Serena stands apart as the only illusion worker born in hundreds of years. The rare talent allows her to create illusion that others can see feel in touch with the personalities all their own. Her creations are her family and together they make up the cast of the festival's freak show. But no matter how the life like how lifelike they may seem, her illusions are still just that, illusions. Or so she always believed, until one of them is murdered. Desperate to protect her family, Serena must uh, must track down the culprit and determine how they killed a person okay. who doesn't actually exist. Okay, I know what book this is and I'm keeping it. What do you think it is? It's Daughter of the Burning City. And I'm keeping it. This is the next one. Um, they're mm. enchanters, the only two in Russia, and with the Ottoman Empire and something threatening. The Tsar needs a powerful enchanter by his side, and so he initiates the Crown's Game, a duel of magic skill. You just told me the, the name of the book, The Crown's Game. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I okay. just was reading. Explain the explain it again. Don't say the name. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter now because <laughs> I don't even remember what it's about. A guy initiates a duel of magical skill. The victor becomes the imperial enchanter. Yeah, go ahead and keep it because I like when there's like magic and like games and stuff like that. So this is the next one. Er, wait, let me restart. <laughs> <laughs> magic that has touched every woman in her family her twin sister somebody already shows an ability to defy gravity but with their 18th birthday coming georgia fears her gift will never come i don't even know what this book is uh like at all but it sounds interesting this i doesn't like guess sisters. the book is unhaul or not oh i'm keeping it anyways this is the next one this cover is kind of cool because you can feel it i feel it no but I want to. <laughs> no senses. So, the unseen world of wealthy and literally powerful ma magicians in New York City prides itself on remaining invisible. The last magician? No. Every 20 years, vying for power and standing during the turning heads of the magical houses, elect a champion, a family member, or a magician for hire, and begin a, s a series of duels. Okay, I'm keeping it. I already know. Well, you said magicians and dueling, and I like that stuff, so. It just seems interesting. My name's Story, and I like books. Hey. <laughs> mean. That was mean. This is a pretty cool cover. If I claimed my supposed throne, I'd be sticking out my neck for anyone to take a swing. And if I failed to hold the crown, but if I couldn't claim the throne, I'll be in danger who that's, would leave that's not the synopsis is the it? rightful here alive if they wanted to control the throne themselves no I long may she reign no it sounds like long may she reign it's not okay well i'm keeping it so this is the next book <laughs> she's probably not gonna like it because um this but Y'all know what I'm saying. Because Booktubers. what? I can't say it out loud because I don't know what you know about your books. Okay. Okay. Um, here's a synopsis. Uh. Highly entertaining and dangerously addictive. <laughs> totally wonderful. Genuinely engaging and brilliantly written. Liv, I need you to actually read. Can you read? I don't know where the fucking synopsis is. It's kept alive as a wep weapon to destroy most of the fearsome, which all of all the time his father, the only one with the power to save Nathan's life. And that's all. Oh, says. yeah, that's, a, that's kind of a synopsis. Keep for now, because I don't have enough to go off of, and I'm not going to get rid of it. Dang, I'm keeping all these books. I'm this only unhauled two. Okay, this is, I can appreciate two? this cover. Yeah, you've only unhauled two. You're doing horrible at this rate. <laughs> so this is the next book. Blank has taken the oath of the lady's maid, so when her lady, Saren, refused to marry a man she fears, Doshti chooses to receive a cruel punishment alongside her imprisonment of a, in a tall, dark tower. In the face of dwindling food supplies and harsh weather, 
Dashti does all she can do to keep them comfortable in their prison. Um, keep. That was a horrible, horrible synopsis. I'm gonna keep it. I mean, it seems interesting. Like, I want to know what would happen, I guess. Can you stop hitting your jewel? I was hitting my jewel. Liv, stop hitting your jewel. Have you been hitting your jewel this whole time? No. Yes, you have. I've been hitting it in between. I oh made it my easy god, I told you you weren't allowed to do that. Stop, you're hitting it right now. Anyways, next book. This is the next book. Um, both has a secret that she can't hide forever. Blank wonders if she can ever truly escape where she comes from. Blank can't bring herself to leave the life she's always known, and Blank and his brothers decide if it's safer to run away. They live in Alaska on the cold edge of America, where each Alaska. one must find the strength, courage, and heart to survive. Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Hitchcock. <laughs> Alaska. Uh, extraordinary interviewing story, or interwining stories of love, tragedy, wild luck, and a Salvation on America's Last Frontier. Introduce a winter of rare event. A writer of rare talent. Um, I'm going to unhaul that because I don't even, I have no yeah, idea what Yeah, this is a really is. pretty cover. So you definitely bought this because of the cover. I don't know if y'all can tell. I think I might know what it is. What do you think it is? Is it a really tiny book? Like it's not very big? I don't know. I think it might be The Smell of Other People's Houses. Nope. Because I got that. Will you stop throwing my books? I will cut you I if you hurt my it. books. This is the next book. <laughs> 300 years, <laughs> I can't say that word, 300 years in the future, but 50 years before Godspeed. I can't read this one. <laughs> Why? There's too many words, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next book. Baton Rouge neighborhood, best known for cookouts on sweltering summer afternoons, cauldrons of spicy crawfish and vats of cold beer, glorious crepe myrtle, blossoms and passionate football fandom. But in the summer of 1989, when 15-year-old Lady Sim Lindy Simpson, free spirit, is attacked at night near her home, it becomes apparent that this stretch of suburban Baton Rouge has a dark side to each. No, I'm unhauling that. <laughs> because I'll never read that. That sounds like something mom would read, though, so maybe I'll give that to mom. This is the next book. Why? Why'd you do Anyways, that? That's not funny. I hate years you. years ago, an eclipse darkened the kingdom of Relhulk in a perpetual darkness and in the chaos. An evil chancellor murdered the king and queen. Luna, the kingdom lost princess, has been locked away in the tower of cursed black woods ever since. Luna's survival depends entirely on the world believing she is dead. Nothing really intrigued me about that synopsis, honestly. Did you put in the unhaul pile? Mm -hmm. This is the next book. The girls played it all the time in their cabin. Cabin? I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Quit. Cabinet? Cabin. I can't read this. Cabinet or cabin? I can't read anymore. This is why I don't read books, because I always fucking get dyslexia halfway through. I don't just get dyslexia. It's not like I do. A, I'm like a you. common sickness. Like halfway through, I start. I like. I literally just said cabinet and whatever the word was before that. I fucked it up too. I feel like mom after a night out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my brain hurts. All right, that's it for us because. Liv can't read. Um, she has me, did you formed not just dyslexia. Say you were done too? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm done. I we have like reading. six books left, but we're both we're both done. So I'm just gonna keep the rest of the books. Okay, show me the books I'm on. That's not the books I'm unhauling. There's no way. Liv's getting all the books together that I chose to unhaul. Stop looking. Sorry. Anyways, so this is one of the ones you gave away. Magonia. Magonia. This one. Okay, that's the one I the thought it was. The smell of other people's houses. The smell of other people's houses. The School for Good and Evil, How to Walk Away, which I want this one. Yeah, this is a romance book. This mm -hmm. is what I was thinking of earlier when I was saying, I was asking if they were romance books. My eyeliner is all over my eyes. Or Cruel Beauty. Oh, this is a Beauty and a Beast retelling. Are you supposed to get rid of this? Yeah. I swear to God, if you put books in the unhaul pile. I didn't. Without me actually saying I was going to unhaul them, I, I will cut you. <laughs> I didn't. I did put Rain one. of Shadows. I did put one. But, Why? <laughs> but it was, I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of these. Okay, Reign of Shadows. This is a Rapunzel retelling. Book of a Thousand Days. There's no way I got rid of this. Mm -hmm. Huh. 
I think this is a Rapunzel retelling too. Uh, white fur. Okay, this is the other this romance book I have. This is one that you said you like guessed what it was, and I was like, no, not even close. The, the last, last time, time I lied. lied. This is the one that you didn't. Oh, mom read that book and she loved it, so I could just give it to her. Yeah. But this is just the type of stuff I don't read. Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Okay, I want to read this series one day, but you see how thick this is? It's only the second book, and there's like four of them. Yeah, I know I'll never get that. to it, but I want to read it. My Sunshine Away. Okay, this, mom got me this book. Wow, you're a bitch. Mom got me this book for my birthday last year. Okay, so these are all the books I'm unhauling. Oh my In god, Zodiac. this is a lot. I don't know if I'm unhauling this one or oh not. I haven't decided. If I do unhaul it, I guess I'll give it to you. You don't even read, though. I know, but I just... Didn't we learn I that from this video? That you don't know how to read. I'm better at reading in my head than I am out loud. Okay, so these are all the books I'm unhauling. Oh my god, this is a lot. This is a lot for me. Are you proud of me? Are you proud? This is like 10 books. The stack is like double that stack. This is more than 10 books. It's like 11 books. It's 12 books. She can't count. I can't read. <laughs> Who wins? So out of like almost 30 books, I'm getting rid Bucks? of... Bucks? Do I get paid for this? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm getting rid of 12. I think I did good. If y'all like this video, I don't know what to do with these books. If y'all like this video, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you feel like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh! Oh, I'm not hauling those anyway, so I guess I don't care. But fuck you. <laughs> Whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so you guys know, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be here. Add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat will be here. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, you better learn. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Mom, uh, um, story's being mean. <laughs> Can you hear me? I need you to ground story. Uh, those days are long over. She's being mean. <laughs>